Have you never seen a samurai sword? Yeah. What? <laughs> a samurai sword. Yeah. This, this is not a stick. And this is not a stick. Now remember, readers, when you come into the text, your goal is to look so closely at what the author and the illustrator did that you mine for the treasure that's living inside the text. Remember, if you want to be an amazing writer, a prolific writer, a stupendous writer, a fantastic writer, a published writer, or illustrator, <laughs> The key is to be a really, really strong reader. So now let's mine into Not a Stick by Antoinette Portis. Let's turn past the cover. Not a Stick by Antoinette Portis. This book is for Winston. Hey! Be careful with that stick! It's not a stick. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Look where you're going with that stick. What stick? Da 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 boom boom da 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 Watch where you point that stick. This is not a stick. Now what are you doing with that stick? Don't trip over that stick. I'm telling you! It's not a stick! Yeah! So Still just standing around with that stick? This is not, not, not a stick! Okay. Then what is it? <laughs> it's my not a stick. Do, 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 do. Woo! 
I love this book for a whole lot of reasons. I use it a lot when I work with teachers and I work with older kids because what I like about it is that it helps us understand perspective. Sometimes what we see depends a lot upon where we're standing and what we're looking for. And we might see things one way and someone else might see them a completely different way. And this book reminds us to keep open to the possibility that what we see isn't maybe all that there is. But as an author illustrator, when I come to this text, one of the things that I loved is how they used monochromatic style. So on every page where the narrator is questioning why the little pig is being careless with the stick, if you notice, the page that has the words on it is brown. And then the page with the pig is white with just a black sketch. I like that. It's very simple. It's unimaginative. But then every page where the pig is using, the main character, the pig, is using his great, creative, brilliant imagination to think of something wonderful that the stick could be other than just a stick. The words are on blue. And then the illustrations are blue, and sometimes they have additional color in them. I love how when he's painting his painting, there's the band, but when he's painting his painting, it's called Starry Night. It's a very famous painting, only it's the pig's version of Starry Night by Van Gogh. Lots of colors are on the page. And that's the only page in the book that has all those colors in it. The rest of them just use the blue. So it actually leaves a lot up to our imagination, too. So when you are writing an imaginative story or even something about yourself, one of the ideas you can lift from this is to show kind of your feeling or your creativity by what you use as a backdrop. So you might just use plain paper on one page and just use a sketch uh, done in regular pencil, which maybe you go outline over with a black marker. And then on the next page, maybe you use a color. Or maybe you sketch in pencil, go over it with black, and then wash it with colors, with crayons, color it with crayons, or wash it with watercolors, or paint it with paints, or use markers or you leave it just a different color that maybe has more feeling. Like if you did a story about being angry, maybe all the pages would be white, except the pages where you talked about being angry and they would be on red. So this is just one of the good ideas. I also like the simple sketches. Just very simple. Very, very simple. And the focus on one object and one character. And the second kind of character in the story is a narrator who never takes a face. But when I read it, I kind of think of, like it's kind of the mom or the dad questioning what the little pig is doing, or the teacher questioning what the pig is doing with the stick. So I hope you enjoyed this story of Not a Stick, and I hope that you find some treasure today or tomorrow that is not just what it looks like something that you pick out of your great imagination. So until later, here's some love and some pride. Super teacher.